Okay, I'm not even gonna lie to you that I tried doing a messy bun for a good five minutes and completely failed. So we're working with some dirty air right now. Also too guys, I really wish this was coffee instead of water. I was actually gonna film this video tomorrow, like doing a drive with me, but my tripod literally like finally peeled off my <laughs> dashboard. So this is what we're working with and I hope that's okay because it's been a while since I just like sat and talked to the camera about a topic that I want to talk about. The last time I did this, I got a video made about me. That's fun. I'm not talking about any specific person, family, anything like that, but I am going to be talking about companies. Now I did use the title and like the name of the store Revolve. And the main reason why I did that was because of the recent Revolve trip and the content that they're pushing out for that. First off, this is not like a hate video about anything. It's just like my opinion. And I am talking about companies in general. So don't take it like, oh, she's a Revolve hater and this, that, and the other. It's just my opinion and tons of companies like Dote, Tarte, this company that I really like and I really wanna get a dress and the oversized hoodie from them. It's called The Bar. It's by Bridget. There's tons of companies that do this. Um, this is not exclusive to just like Revolve. It just sparked um, some thoughts and opinions that I wanted to share with you guys. And this is a place that I can do it. And sorry if I keep touching my hair. It's just like really bugging me. So first off, I want to read you guys this tweet that my friend actually tweeted and I remember quote tweeting her. By the way guys, my Twitter is private because no one uses Twitter that much anymore. So I kind of just use it like as funny stuff and like just for personal. Okay, so her tweet reads, I truly don't give a fuck revolve. All these influencers getting sponsored by them is honestly annoying at this point. It's oversaturated and unauthentic and hella expensive. While I agree with most of the tweet, I said, so true, they should give those experiences to customers that might not ever get to experience travel. I would respect them more if they did that. So, okay, <laughs> if you're shopping at Revolve, okay, you could probably take a trip like that, honestly. Revolve is kind of expensive and I personally do not own anything from Revolve. But I will say, there's this one dress, I think it's a dress, I'll show you guys. And I don't think I've ever spent this much on clothing before. Now you're looking at someone, I love luxury. I love jewelry, I love purses, and I've spent a ridiculous amount of money on, you know, things I don't need. Guys, I want this dress so bad, and it is from Revolve. Like, I like Revolve, okay? I just am stating this in the beginning of the video so you guys don't think I'm a complete hater. So this is the dress. Let me know if you guys like it. But I love that dress, and it's over $200. Um, some of my dance costumes were over that much. Also, too, sorry if this is rambly. This is definitely not scripted, and I'm just coming on here talking to you guys like a, you're my friend and sharing my thoughts. So sorry if it's like all over the place. So when Angie tweeted that, I was like, yeah, I do agree. And honestly, I do. And I came across this TikTok, which I'm not going to use because I don't want to use like other people's content, especially like these days with like all the like copyright stuff. But she was saying that soon we're going to be seeing influencers and everything kind of shift because the general public or the general audience is like pretty much getting tired of it. It does get oversaturated and it's just like annoying to see these people do that. Also in the TikTok, she said that the consumer's dollar is going to fund these lavish trips and that do you really want to be spending your money somewhere where they're like treating these people like so well and everything, which I'm like in the middle of out, but honestly, like no. And if I'm gonna be honest with you, this is kind of going off on a side track here, but when I see an ad or like an ad pops up, like I skip over it. And tonight, as Angie and I were discussing, we always skip over like the ads. So there's this one influencer we watch, and I swear, I told Angie, I'm like, if I see another ad for her darn mattress, like I'm going to like punch someone because I'm like, oh my gosh. And yes, I get how, it's how they make their living 
really like why don't you like start a side business you already have an audience like some of these people that start businesses like I think that's great you know but and I know that sponsors pay a lot of money I don't doubt that they genuinely like the product hell if I was in that position I would probably be doing sponsorships too I'm just saying as the viewer like you have to think about your consumer you know okay okay I'm done with the sidetrack but <laughs> leave a comment down below if you agree if you're like an avid viewer of people that like always talk about the same stuff and I get it there's contracts you have to talk about hello fresh this amount of times a month or something like that like I get it but it's still for a little frustrating okay <laughs> like not gonna lie going back to the luxury trips and everything I totally get that it's a great marketing strategy I don't deny that but I would like it if they would filter in some other smaller creators or just their plain customers. I'm sure you have tons of email addresses in your little directory that you could just pull one and like be like, congratulations, like you, we're inviting you on this trip because we appreciate your business. We appreciate you shopping there. Which leads me <laughs> to another thing, to another topic that Angie and I discussed tonight. In real life, I don't know anyone who owns anything Revolve. Like, I'm talking about like real life people that I hang out with, or I know, um, maybe some of my former, well, they're still, I would consider them friends still, but maybe some of my childhood friends own some Revolve stuff, but they don't like tag them because, well, maybe because they're not really influencers, but I would expect, you know, like, oh, I got this cute dress from Revolve or something like that. So it's just really confusing to me, like who's buying this? And I guess if they are buying it, they're able to afford like probably a trip like that. I get it, but it would be kind of cool to see them, you know, do something like really good for their customers, client base, or even smaller influencers or video creators or Instagrammers. Let's not talk about Instagram. Oh my gosh, that app is just so hard. <laughs> really a gamble with that and maybe they do give back to their customers and creators or whatever or maybe they're one of those brands that don't need to I was looking at one of the influencers I follow and she was at like this Louis Vuitton event and I get it, it's Louis Vuitton like it's gonna happen but still this goes for all of these brands that do all this stuff that like I don't know I feel like they need to reconsider now going back to revolve and everything um i did notice though that they had a good wide range of people like styles body sizes um ethnicity which is good and stuff it's like opposite of dope and whatever but still like maybe there was someone there that was like gifted and i know that they do the plus one because another creator like that you could bring people, which is great, but like, why don't you leave one of those spots open for like maybe someone who will never ever get to travel to those places and experience something like that. You know what I'm saying? Also too, these lavish trips, I don't know, make the general public feel like shit. I mean, let's be real. Most of America or any other part of the world will never get to do that. Like, let's just be honest here. This is why society and social media is probably not the best. Number one, it's a blessing because it's good marketing strategy, good revenue, but also it does deteriorate people's mental health and then goes into all these people comparing their lives to these other people that are totally unrelatable. You know what I'm saying? So I'm starting to think that I'm going to do or start a week in my life video, like it'll go up each week and you know what it's gonna be repetitive but that's my life like <laughs> I mean it is repetitive so I'm thinking about doing that but going back to the relatability of these influencers like zero like I don't know guys let me know if you feel this way because frankly I'm starting to get like fed up with some of these people and even though I follow them and stuff and are giving them my online currency as they say it's still like kind of frustrating and you know what that's why I have this channel so I can just like release and like let out my feelings about these things because you know I get we all have to make a living I get it but also you have to think about your customer your audience honestly I really do think that companies should phase out these lavish trips because I don't think it benefits anyone except for them getting content which i guess is a good thing for them 
but is it worth it? Is it worth the showing off the, oh look, like you didn't make the cut for this. Not that I would, I'm not even in that demographic to be honest. It was actually like really, really funny. So I commented on one of the photos and I'm like, oh, can you invite me next time? And then I think it, I think the Revolve people, or like whoever runs it, like liked it. And I was like, oh, thanks. Like, that's kind of cool. But um, I get that it's a great content opportunity to get all these influencers together, but also thinking about it. In the end, I don't think it helps. I think it does like more damage, if that makes sense. I know this video is everywhere and I don't even know how well edited this is. And you know what? It's okay. I was also telling my friend, I'm like, you know what would be a really good thing that companies could do? They could start a nonprofit and with the funds that they're gonna put towards these lavish trips, they could do a whole project of like helping children in different countries and getting these influencers to, I don't know, give needy children in different countries like makeovers or something like that like to make them feel worthwhile like i feel like there's definitely if you're going to send a group of people to a destination to promote products like why don't you do some like service work and like better help the community as well maybe if you're like a makeup company like go somewhere and do well, maybe like a beach cleanup. I mean, that's cutting it like really, that's like making it so easy, but like maybe partner up with a local organization to help feed the community, like a food bank and have influencers help give out food and maybe give out some free products to potential customers if they really like the Tarte Shape Tape Concealer. I mean, there's tons of ideas that I have and it would be just like more rewarding number one making yourself look good number two promoting the product and number three getting a bunch of influencers to promote a good nonprofit that you're partnering up with or something like that so yeah I don't know I feel like if I if I'm making this video I should like present some ideas because I just feel like a hater like hating on these people and companies but like I again like I don't not like the companies like I have their products except for like Revolve I you know I shop at many places that <laughs> Aritzia is like super expensive uh Lululemon I get the leggings somewhat, but you know, for dresses over $200, I don't know, man, that's a whole other realm of status and all of that. But anyway, going back to what I was saying, yeah, if, if you guys have any ideas too, like leave them in the comments because that could be helpful if anyone from those companies see this. Yeah, those are just like my initial thoughts. If I have any other thoughts, I will like pop it in this video or I'll leave it in the description box or comment section. If you guys enjoyed this video, make sure to give it a thumbs up. Leave in the comments down below also like all your feelings about this. I can't be the only one, come on. And if any of you guys are watching it from these companies, like, I don't know, like be more creative and help be more relatable and not just like create a bunch of FOMO for like us peasants out here. <laughs> but anyway, I'm gonna stop rambling now. Don't forget to subscribe and I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye.